This week is National Nurses Week, and Morning in America wants to help shine a light on your everyday superheroes. At the start of her career as a neonatal nurse, Shannon McPeak experienced a work-related hardship that led to anxiety. Day-to-day -day life became more difficult, and McPeak learned her friends and colleagues were dealing with similar issues. That is when she started Operation Happy Nurse, a nonprofit building a stress relief haven for nurses across the country. We want to welcome in Shannon this morning. Good morning, Shannon, and thank you for being here. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Can you tell us what led to your anxiety uh, as you started earlier in your career? Yeah, it wasn't necessarily one specific circumstance. I just didn't really understand the stressors that nurses are under. I knew what I was getting into was difficult. I understood that I was going to have to deal with patient death, deal with difficult situations, but it's a lot different when you start experiencing them. Nurses are also the last line of defense. So in that there's a lot of pressure. So it was a slow buildup of anxiety that led to developing signs and symptoms of obsessive compulsive disorder. And in return, some personality withdrawal, some kind and compassionate loss. There was just a lot of things going on, but it was a slow progression. So I didn't really understand that it was happening until I reached a point where I had a friend tell me that if I didn't make changes, I was going to lose people in my life. Gosh, OCD for a nurse when you're dealing with messes and chaos, that, is, that just sounds like it's undoable. Um, so what helped you with that anxiety? So yeah, my OCD was more based on safety things. So of course I was worried about messes and that sort of thing. But in my mind and after speaking to a therapist, I learned that when I was in certain situations that it was difficult to keep my patients safe, that I would find safety in other aspects of my life. So that included checking the oven, checking the stove, checking the door locks, that sort of thing. So it was more based in my home versus at work, although there were certain things at work that I did do, but not as intense as it was when I got back to my personal home and my personal space. So what I was able to do to help that was actually research a ton of different stress relievers and find ones that work for me and utilize multiple different resources in order to better my mental health. And in doing so, I was able to speak to other nurses and learned that my journey wasn't really unique and that it was actually a large problem within the nursing profession. Right, and so that's where Operation Happy Nurse comes from, right? How do you export yes. these things, the things that you have learned? How do you send them out into the community so that other women, well, other nurses in general, because there are male nurses too, can get help and not feel so anxious as well. So we offer a free online stress relief community for the nurses. We have a variety of resources based on a survey that we did back in 2018 with just over 100 nurses. We learned what they personally utilized for their mental health, and we compiled resources based on research. And now nurses can go onto this free online community, pick and choose through our resources that we offer, and their profile adapts to meet their individual interests and needs. We do have in-person events, but those are less than our virtual offerings. Our virtual offerings are offered 24 seven. Our events are about every quarter. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.